This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. Hi there, this is David, and welcome to my January unboxing and game room editions video. These videos are always a lot of fun for me because I can get to come to you and I can just kind of talk to y'all on a personal level and let y'all know what I am adding into my game room, what I'm in collecting, what I am getting. Before we start, though, um, I have something pretty exciting to talk about. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, and um, I have these Tokyo Treat boxes from Sakuraku and Tokyo Treat that were sent to me um, as kind of like a Valentine's gift. And they're really neat, and they're really fun, and I know I personally always have a hard time trying to find a gift for Ken for Valentine's Day. It's always difficult for me. Um, we've been together since 2003, so it's been about uh, 19 years together. And every Valentine's Day, it's still like, what do I get Ken? What do I do for Valentine's Day? And I think that I have an answer for this year. Um, I went ahead and I partnered with Tokyo Treat here, and uh, they sent me these boxes, and I've never done a subscription box before. This is new to me, so um, I went ahead and I opened these up because I couldn't resist. I got them over the weekend, and I'm like, hey, I want to check them out, and I ate some of them too because, hey, you know, it's food, and I like the food. So I tried some of this stuff, and it was actually pretty good. So I just want to show you what you get. This is the, um, this is the Sakuraku box. And this one's a kind of more fancy box, and it has tea accoutrement in it. Little biscuits, little snack cakes in it. Ooh, this is um, shrimp and mayonnaise, which is highly interesting. I've never heard of such a flavor before. It has like little biscuits in it. Like this is a lot. Strawberry, a lot of these treats in these boxes are actually strawberry themed because these are Valentine's themed candies right here um so if you are looking for something to get your loved one for valentine's day i would highly recommend you look in to these snack boxes right here that i'm showing you because it's not like you just get like a little bit this is some strawberry jelly right here um you actually get a whole lot of stuff and this is so unique and it's gender neutral you can get this for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, whoever. It doesn't matter. You can get this for anybody on your list, anybody that you love. Um, and I'm sure that they would highly, highly appreciate it. And I know I'm interested in Japan. I think that a lot of y'all are interested in Japan. And um, to, to think about these different multicultural snacks that come across the pond stuff that you don't really get to see here in america all that often but you get to share it with your loved one that's really a nice thing it even has this little bowl it came with this cute little bowl maybe it's like a little trivet for your tea bag or a little a little dipping dish uh, for your jams that's really cute i really like that and then there's these little chocolates and as you can see i totally dove into these little um heart-shaped strawberry chocolates i saw them and i'm like oh my gosh i can't resist i had to have them they are so good and speaking of good things here i just i don't know if i can really resist what we got i'm, I'm gonna have to try something here um let's see this is a strawberry choco crunch i think i'm going to uh to check that out and see what it's all about Oh, this is nice. This little, this little kind of, uh, this little bar right here. Mm-mm. Oh, that's good. Mm-mm. It's like a strawberry chocolate. That's really nice. Mm. I'm going to have to, uh, eat some more of these on stream, I think, on my, over on Twitch. I think I'll eat some of these while I'm streaming some games or something. That might be a fun thing to do. Now, this next box is a little bit more um, casual than the tea box here. This looks like more for friends and everything. It has some strawberry milk Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. And strawberry? That's, that's, that's unique. Looks like some kind of pink ramen right here. I don't really know what the flavor of that is. It's all in Japan. This looks like some sort of 
shrimp flavored popcorn, but it has like little things of lettuce on the bottom. I don't know what this stuff is. And that I think is the fun of it is that everything's like a mystery. You know what I mean? Um, you open it up and then you can try it. You can sample it with your loved ones. You can really look and see about all the, the different cute stuff that's in here and you can try it together and you could be like, oh my gosh, this is like really good. Or you could be like, oh my gosh, this is a, this is a no. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just think that it would be something fun to bond over, especially if you've been together with your loved one for as long as I have, you know, going out to a fancy restaurant and stuff like that isn't exactly, you know, the best thing ever. Um, been there, done that, but bonding over little shared experiences like this is always something fun that you can do. If you are, however, worried about allergies because you don't know what this stuff is or you can't read Japanese or whatever, there are um, little catalogs that come along with these and um, it does talk about what the ingredients are and exactly what they are just in case you do have any kind of allergies whatsoever. So do uh, be wary of that. But I think that this is just such a fun, exciting thing and I'm so excited to be partnered with them. Um, I, I, like I said, I've never heard of these subscription boxes before, but it just seems right up my alley and I cannot wait to share these with Ken. And now to the bulk of what you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. And also, by the way, if you're wondering, I do have laryngitis right now. It's my, my voice. I know I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm trying. Um, I got Stories of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, premium edition for the Nintendo Switch. I picked this up off of GameStop because it was actually cheaper than the regular version of the game, which I thought was kind of shocking myself. I couldn't believe that. But this is the premium boxed edition. Um, and I've actually never played a Story of Seasons game before. I've played the Harvest Moon games before, um, most notably the first one on the SNES. But I've heard that these Stories of Seasons games have gotten a bit better. Um, and I've also dabbled a little bit in Stardew Valley as well. So I am looking forward to trying that. And then uh, my retro game store had a sale. It was, I want to say, anything that was $5 was actually $2.50. So I went and I was able to pick up quite a bit of some cool stuff. Um, I got Mario Paint. I had this as a kid. Whenever I was growing up, it came with a mouse and a mouse pad. And it had this cool little, like, fly game or whatever. And you could play with it and everything. This was like paint before we had a computer, really. So this was always fun to play around with. And I bought it for $2.50 because, you know, whatever. It's Mario Paint. I had it as a kid. It's nostalgia. Some other nostalgic games that I grabbed was Dr. Mario. I remember I had this game for the Game Boy. Um, I would play it on car trips. I never had it for the NES. But for $2.50, why not? Xenophobe, we would rent this from Video Wonderland. Um, me and my brother would play this together. Um, this was a fun kind of beat em up game. We would play together and we'd fight these aliens and everything up in like a spaceship or whatever, and the Xenophobes would come out and scream, Oh my god, the Xenophobes. And we have Iron Sword Wizards Warriors 2 with Fabio on the cover. Yeah, you know it's a great 80s game whenever Fabio's there. He's always there. He was on every cover back then. But hey, it's Wizards and Warriors. And then Jardamite. I remember I played this at my Uncle David's house in uh, in New York. And he had robbed the robot, actually. And he would actually use the robot uh, when we played the game. And I don't know what happened to his robot or anything. But I do remember liking Jardamite. Some other things that I picked up. Because I am trying, 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 trying my hardest to collect all of the Nintendo powers. I know that that is quite a feat. It's quite a feat, but I have I have a good bit back there on the bottom shelf back there. You can see quite a bit of Nintendo powers back there, um, but I've picked up some more. I got this one right here. Looks like this one talks about Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor from March 2009, Indiana Jones. Interesting. Here is one, Kirby's Epic Mickey. I remember whatever that was a big thing. Kid Icarus Uprising Xenoblade Chronicles, The Last Story. Hell yeah, this will be a fun Nintendo Power to read through. 
this nostalgia. Lost Kingdoms. That was a card-based battling game for the GameCube. Um, I remember playing that and actually really enjoying it, even though I don't really like card-based battle systems, but hey, whatever. I'm always on the lookout for um, for some new things. Just another Nintendo Power right here. Uh, Raymond's Wii Adventure? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Okay. Okay, I am aware of Pokemon. Magical Star Sign. Okay. I know about Magical Star Sign. That was a, uh, I want to say a Game Boy Advance game? Maybe it was Nintendo DS. No, I think the Magical Vacation was Game Boy Advance. The Magical Star Sign was Nintendo DS. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Here we have uh, another one. This is about Super Mario Brothers. New Super Mario Brothers. Very nice, very nice. Lost Magic. Okay, okay. Lost Magic. That was that Nintendo DS game where you had to use the stylus to um, to create crests and spells and things like that. That's interesting. That's interesting. Another Nintendo power here. Oh my gosh, I picked up the same freaking issue. I just noticed that. I can't believe I'm so stupid. I picked up the same issue. <laughs> I was just going through and I'm like, oh, Nintendo Power, Nintendo Power, it's only 250. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. And then I grabbed this, I grabbed the same issue. Final Fantasy XII, Revenant Wings. Okay, not exactly my favorite entry into the franchise, but hey, I will, I, I will take it for my collector's sake right here. Very nice, very nice. This one has Pokemon Ranger in it. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Okay, and then Mom, Metroid Other M. Ugh, God, who knew? And then it looks like a Wario game. This one's talking about Wario and Shake It. Okay. Okay. Oh, 20th anniversary of Nintendo Power. 1988 to 2008. Interesting, interesting. So these have been my January game room pickups. What's going on in my life? I've been sick for the past month. I got probably TMI, but I got COVID back in... Christmas, which morphed into shingles, which morphed into bronchitis, which has now turned into laryngitis. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been a month, but I'm just I'm chugging along. I'm chugging along as best as I can. And I cannot wait to eat some candy and get my mind off of these things. If y'all would like to order some of these Tokyo Treat boxes or Sakuraka boxes, there are links to them in the video description as well as in the comment section. And please do do that to support me. That would mean the world to me. All of y'all have a very, very good day.